All right, so we're going to do a backup on the new Hispanic IA command control. So, first thing I like to do is I always like to make sure that my axes are all at home. So, the LEDs will be lit by tool station one within the cutting position. Okay. So, I go ahead and mount my compact flash card. And this is the normal screen you'll see when the control first boots up. So what I want to do is I want to go into my maintenance display here first. Then I'm going to press my offset button twice to get me into my settings handy page. And I'm going to turn my parameter right enable to a one. And I'm also going to make sure my IO channel is set to a four for compact flash card. Okay, so moving on. I'm going to hit the system hard key, S2, bring me up to my parameter. So there's a few parameters that I'm going to need to change. Uh, I want to change 138, my MVP to a one, which I've already done. Then parameter 313, and I always use the search to locate the parameters, not input. And our bit zero, BOP, is going to be set to a one. Our last parameters that we're going to have to set is parameter 3202. Again, number search. And we want to set any nine, two zero, and any eight, two zero. Okay, so our parameters are set. Now I'm going to make one more change. So I'm going to hit the uh, custom key to bring us out back out to our main page here. And I'm going to go into the settings. And I'm going to go to display settings. To the boot settings. So what I want to happen is I want the boot screen to come up on the next power up so I can do an SRAM backup. It'll do it automatically if I set this. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, check that. Then OK. OK, so I'm all set there. So now we're going to go back to our maintenance display. I want the parameters up. Now I'm going to hit the next page. And I'm looking for all IO. The next page, I'm looking for all data. Okay. So now I'm ready to do the file output, but I need to be in edit mode. So I'm going to file output. It's going to ask me to confirm, and it's also going to tell me that this operation requires that I power off. Once it's completed, so we execute it, and we are pulling the backup right now. Now this backs up everything. It takes the parameters, the timers, counters, keep relays, um, offsets, programs, it takes everything out. This usually takes a minute or two complete. And once it's done, it's gonna prompt us to cycle the power on the control. We don't need to turn off the main disconnect, just the power on the control itself. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and restart the machine, power off, and then power back on. Now, when the control boots up, we're not going to boot up to the normal screen we would see. We're going to boot up in the uh, boot screen. And this is where you would extract your SRAM. And because we set the, the boot setting in our settings page, 
it's going to come up so we can do it automatically on this first power of them. So I don't need to do anything in here. So I'm going to go ahead and close this app out. Okay, so I'm just going to end this application. So zero. I type in my zero here and then input. Okay, so now what's going to happen is it's going to extract the SRAM, which is doing right now. And uh, once that's done, it'll boot up to the normal screen. Uh, go back in, change your your parameters that you had to alter back to their original settings, and your uh, the update is complete for the extraction.